we see it as a straight First Amendment approach. First Amendment? Yep. Free speech? And assembly. How? Well, now, wait a minute. Don't start off by being negative about it. You're going to run into a problem with that. In the first place, there was no interference with peaceful picketing, and the police were walking on eggs. Okay, but let me tell you how we approach it. it, it it's a little subtle. Well, I hope it isn't too subtle for me. Let me tell you. You call a lie in front of a concrete mix of free speech? That's pretty subtle. <sighs> He's not always like this. Let me develop it for you. All right, Counselor, develop. Look, you've got the First Amendment, right? Freedom of speech and freedom of press. Okay, what's it there for? Why'd they put it in the Constitution in the first place? Because in every society, in every government, you have to provide for change. Change is going to come inevitably. Change that the people both want and need, right? Right. Now, how do you allow for change in a peaceful and nonviolent way? You provide the right for anybody to put his ideas before the whole body politic. Now, that's freedom of speech, freedom of the press, the whole thing. Cut off that right or bottle it up in any way, and you've got to face an eventual explosion. Yes. But John, what's that Jefferson quote? Uh, Something about with uh, press and speech restricted, there is but one recourse for a proud people. Yes. So you want to avoid violent revolution, right? All right, you provide for freedom of press and freedom of speech. But now if I get up and I just talk, that doesn't accomplish the constitutional purpose of free speech because I've got to be heard. I have to be effectively heard. Now I can get up in 1790 in a New England meeting house and make a speech and probably reach everybody. But it's not enough today. Not with 180 million people it isn't. It takes $2 million worth of television equipment or the New York Times or Life magazine. That's your point, that the constitutional right is for your speech to be effectively heard? That's my point. And there's precedent on it. A dozen cases, take your pick. Uh, Marsh versus Alabama. That's right, that's the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses case. They wanted to distribute some religious literature in a small town in Alabama and convert people, I suppose. Anyway, the town was a company town, completely owned. There were no public streets. So since everything was private property, they kept arresting them for trespassing. So you have, on the one hand, the right of private property, and on the other hand, the First Amendment right to reach people with, with your ideas, you see. The Supreme Court ruled, in this case, that the right to distribute leaflets, or free speech, overbalanced the rights of private property. And then there was a labor case in uh, New Jersey arresting people for littering for handing out leaflets. Yeah, Cantrell versus Connecticut is even better than that. All right, all right, let's stop right now. Do you have any idea what we're dealing with here? Do you? Yes, you may be surprised to know that I do occasionally read the newspapers and that I have feelings, that I am involved with what's going on in our time. But this is a simple little misdemeanor, and all we need to do to beat it is a simple little defense. Oh, Dad, I think you're missing the whole point. There's nothing simple about this. And besides that, we have a chance now to really do something about it. If, if you see this whole thing as something that can be solved by a, a little courtroom maneuver, then you're reading the wrong newspapers. Look. We're talking about a genuine revolution going on in this country. Blood's being spilled. Those millions of people are fighting for their freedom. How are you going to settle all this with some simple defense? How are you going to settle it in a police court with a constitutional issue? Well, it's one way. Look, I know what your plan is. You want to be a good lawyer. You want to go into court and win a case. But it's just this one case. You guys, there's more at stake here than that. Oh, there's calm issue down. Here. We're not trying this case. We're preparing it. If you want to batter down the ramparts, you've got to have the ammunition. All right, I think we have it. <laughs>